Hey everybody, this is JR of Skylanders Fam Team, and this is on our Skylanders Fam Team gameplay channel um, and my walkthroughs. This is going to be the first in the series of walkthroughs for Trap Team. Now, um, this is the uh, game that I've done this on 100% so far, um, where I've gotten the story to 100% and all the uh, levels that you can do. Uh, so far, as you know, uh, if you started playing this, that um, the Wave 3 Skylanders that are going to include Magic Element and the uh, Light and Dark, the two brand new elements, haven't been released yet. And because they haven't been released, um, you, there are going to be levels that you cannot complete to 100%. It's just not possible. So um, what I'm going to do is, for those levels on these walkthroughs, we'll put a little addendum down and say... Um, uh, that we are going to add a part two to that or we'll add the extra information as well into the description. Now, I have all of the levels that you can have so far up to date, um, including the two uh, mystery worlds that have been released. Soda Springs, the very first level, is one of those levels where you cannot get to 100% uh, and uh, without, without those new uh, Wave 3 items. <clears throat> and so... Uh, I'm starting a whole new game here, and we're going to go through all the way. Now, I want to do it quickly. I don't want a lot of Mishigas, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit medium. Uh, in the end, it's really not going to matter much, uh, whether you're doing on a uh, nightmare or medium, just the difficulty of the people we're getting through, and the point of this walkthrough is simply to get us through it. Uh, so, I'm going to skip this part for you uh, so we can get right into the journey. Uh, but what I will talk about real quick is what you're going to need to get through this level. And for this, if you look off to the side of the video, uh, what you're going to need is, uh, number one, you're going to have to have at least three characters. I'm going to use four here. Uh, the first one is, I'm going to use my Eons Elite uh, Trigger Happy that was just released. Very powerful character. I love this guy already. Victorious evil a beast. Um, that's the one I'm going to play with as my main run and gunner. Uh, second, we're going to need a water trap guy. And so we're going to use Lobstar uh, of the trap. And so uh, for tech, which we're also going to Until an elite team There we go, gear shift. Right. Wielding legendary weapons and, um, was called uh, we're also going to be using a life Skylander, and that is going to be Bushwhacked. Uh, and so those are going to be the three trap team members that you're going to need to get through this. Uh, you can use, again, just those three types of characters if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to use four because I have a personal preference uh, for using this particular type of character. Now, we have a... Uh, uh, you're going to need two traps for this. You're going to need at least the water trap and the life trap, which uh, you get the uh, you get the initial traps that come with the ori original game, uh, so you should be able to get through this first level no problem. Uh, during this game uh, and on this level, you're going to come across... Um, several particular items. Uh, you're going to come across one villain stash. Uh, that's a stash you're going to be able to open with uh, while using one of the villains. Three hats that you can access right now. Three treasure chests. One winged sapphire. Uh, a story scroll. And two soul gems. Um, and that's as much as you can get right now before wave three. So it seemed for many years. Until... Without further ado, let's just move on and take a look here at Soda Springs. <laughs> and here he is, yada yada yada, big evil guy that likes to drink a lot of stuff. While I love this game, sometimes the storyline can seem a little corny, but it's great for the kids. And you know what? I actually enjoy the gameplay. Don't need the story a ton, but not bad. Okay, let's get into the game. Probably remove. That's a Skylander, all right. My name's Buzz, head of security and secret ninja commando operations around here. Now, how's about we go investigate all this ruckus? Use your okay, so I'm going to uh, skip uh, some of the things that you don't need absolutely to have right now but i am going to show you some things that you can access uh if you wish to access them for instance if you take a jump over here you're going to come down here to the back wash spillway and that's going to be an area that you uh the particular uh completing all the sections 
nice thing about this game over its predecessors is you can just fall off a cliff. It's not going to kill you, but you can fall right off that cliff. No harm, no foul. And uh, falling off that cliff is going to... It could end you up somewhere, and if it doesn't, hey, no big deal. But that exploration aspect goes back to the core of... Uh, the whole idea of Skylanders, and it really lets uh, kids and people who are playing it discover. I like that new, uh, the new method. I really enjoy it, and I think your kids will enjoy it too. Okay. So first one right here as we start. Um, you know, as they say, there's going to be three hidden treasures in each one. Um, this is the first one, blatantly obvious, right here as soon as you come in off the flats. Like your style there, compadre. <laughs> Just push those things out of the way. Now, as I mentioned before, you can go down here into the water to get some extra coins here off to the side. I'm going to do that real quick just to show you. And it's going to land you back down there again where you were before, back into the backsplash back spillway. <laughs> Now, here we are entering the next section of the game. Now, uh, none of these in particular uh, have, uh, in this section, any real value other than... The ...trigger, you can hear the music, yada yada. Just another nice exploration item. Careful, Skylander. Okay, this is going to be our first fight. And uh, this is the first enemy that you're going to be able to encounter. Now, here's the deal. Uh, when you encounter these enemies, uh, if you don't know already uh, what happens... He's supposed to be in traps in order to trap them, and you can become those characters. And they're a great tool during the game. Uh, if you have a... You know, your own character is running out of energy, is powering down, and you really need some backup and someone powerful for a limited period of time, that's available to you when you have them in these traps. The more traps you have, the more captured people, the better off you are. I have several extra traps beyond the original eight, and we use those uh, for missions where we need more than one. Um, and here is the boss. Boom. Now, to be fair, it may take you a little bit longer to kill yours, but mine went down easy because of the character I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and show you in the portal to try dropping in the actual trap, what it looks like in case you haven't seen <laughs> Boom. Sheep creep trapped. And we're gonna put him in his little box. And there he is. And now I can be him, I can shoot missiles, start trouble, you know, live life in the fast lane if you want to. And as it tells you, you can tag in and tag button again to return to playing as your Skyland. Holy guacamole! Glad to see you changed your way, sheep creep. Now let's go save this village. Use bounce pads like that to get to higher ground. They're super springy. And it is Don't great. Don't forget that you can always tag out. And so here we are, and you're wondering why I haven't pulled that thing over first. Well, there's a nice little secret area back here. Off the bat. and push him into place. As you can see, nothing there. Okay, here we are in the natural ingredients tree. Now, um, here they're going to give you the quick little explanation about the Traptanium. Uh, simply put, uh, you see this crystal around, you're going to need a Trap Master to beat it. It doesn't get any easier than that. Uh, you're going to need that to move on and find some chests here. 
throughout the game and in this level. So, again, trap masters are absolutely necessary in the game. Uh, if you have an entire army of soldiers from your previous games, you could have played all three games. It doesn't matter. You will, at the very least, need to buy the trap masters, uh, the trap team members. In order. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick switch. It's going to put Lobster on Blast Roll. Star bright, star fight! Because you cannot advance through this without it. Luckily, in this game, if you have a starter kit, you came with one Trap Master already. Uh, and so you're able to do this. You don't go in empty. Now I switch back to my guy for, uh, this is the one I want to collect uh, coins on. This is something I regularly do throughout the games uh, when a great deal of coins have showed up. I like to uh, switch between the Skylanders who actually need... So we're not that far into the game and we already got plenty of money coming to us. Um, it's a good start. Once again, we're back to the bounce disc. A lot of promise, kid. I like New bounce discs, which uh, I'm going to show you here in a minute. Uh, a trap monster. Here I'm going to need the very first trap master. Unlike the other games, uh, you know, the first two games, Skylanders uh, Sparrow's Adventure and uh, Skylanders Giants, you only need someone of that element. Uh, and uh, they change this a little bit in Swamp Force, where sometimes you'd need two elements at one time, so you needed a, uh, a Swamp Force member, but you could complete the whole game without it. Here, um, you need Trap Masters. They're absolutely necessary. And you can't get into these secret areas with them. So, uh, in this game, there's going to be a great deal of switching as well. To get 100%, you're going to you can leave those other t two turtles alone. They don't really matter. It's this one that matters the most. Lots of people have spent many, many, many uh, wasted hours and minutes trying to get on that thing until they realize it can't work. So, for right now, we're going to leave that alone. Let's go ahead, get your hat, wear it if you don't have anything else, and if you do, you know, say la vie. Uh, there's nothing down there, so bounce back to your original position, and go ahead and exit. <laughs> Once you've uh, entered the natural ingredients tree again, they tell you about the bounce pads. There's not much there you don't already know. It's a big old bounce pad. And you're in your next section on the twisting top. Uh, lots of great stuff to break up and destroy here. Uh, but before you go up and over there where it looks really interesting, you need to head down. Um, after you kill these little suckers here. Without you seeing me walk past. I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick little Exactly. Secret and right into this area. Oops. Didn't even on that yet. Now, as you can see, number one, you're gonna get your first story scroll. Great thing about story scrolls is when you first uh, start off, if you have a level one character or a low level character, uh, put him on if you want to level him up because story scrolls include a lot of extra XP. I'm not gonna read this scroll. Uh, it's just a waste of time. And there's our very first area we can't get to. That's going to be for the unknown trap. Um, and that's coming with wave three, which is going to be within the next couple of weeks. No harm, no foul. I'll bring the extra information uh, when it comes back. Now, here's the tricky part. Uh, when you jump there, you need to make sure you aim yourself um, towards this soul gem. That's the only way to access it, as far as I can tell. Uh, and this is the first one for Blades. And uh, Blades is a part of the Nightmare Express trap um if i remember correctly uh and that trap specifically uh, or the nightmare express uh level that it comes with uh two weapons the ticky speaky and the 
uh, Ram's Head missile, if I remember correctly, and including this uh, Soul Gem for Blitz. I'm going to go ahead and skip it uh, instead of showing you the preview. Don't forget that you can always And now we're going to show up here to trap monster. Where you're going to need a life trap is required to trap open master and okay, Bushwhacker is going to go on. I like this character. I don't play Back him often, match. however, because this one specifically is a character my son likes to play and I like to respect that fact, so I don't go fighting with him. I don't level him up. I don't use him for anything. This is for my boy. Yeah, AJ has his characters, I have my characters, and Nether the Twain shall meet. Now, the key here is to get these pumpkins onto the... ...scale. Move that up. The great thing about moving objects that roll like this, they do a lot of damage all on their own. Uh, as you can see there, 500, 500, 500. That can eliminate most enemies from shot. And we're going to grab our next hat. If you want to wear a melon on your head, go ahead. Okay, so we're leaving this life area and we're heading back out onto the twist. And we're going to launch to the next section. A trap monster of the tech element. Go ahead and put her on real quick. I like Gear Shift, but this is another one played uh, with by uh, Devin and AJ together of the uh, Skyliners fan team. And you can see them playing on the Skyliners fan team channel. Skylanders of the okay, Zero Calorie Cavern. Now, this one's actually really simple. Uh, just go ahead and jump on the various platforms. No big challenges. Just follow it and get your next hat. The third and final hat you're going to get uh, until those other areas are accessible to us. This one's a straight up fisherman's hat with five extra. Is that out for us? We're back in a sugar-free landing now. No one takes my soda except me. Now we're entering grape-flavored Vista. Now, as you can see, there's more Traptanium. Time to bust that up. I'm going to put on gear shift real quick just to break that up, the monotony, and uh, get to that, get to that item. Totally cool. What a smash! And I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Precious metals. Cash for you. No go, no glory. Now, if you still have this from the other games, uh, game one and two. Uh, these have been available throughout all of the games, the hidden treasure chests. They're supposed to tell you when you get close to it. Uh, and sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. I don't know why uh, with this game. Uh, a little weird, but they are all over the place. Uh, in this game, you there are one per level. For some reason, in uh, Skylander Swap Force, they were sometimes three to four to a level. Uh, it's not required to get 100%. You don't need it. You don't have to have it. It's completely optional. The gulper. There's our next one you're going to need the water uh, trap for if you don't already have him. Absolutely necessary. Must drink soda. Just had another thought. If it's soda that gulper wants, it's soda he's not going to get. 
So, all you need to do is bounce on over to that next building and destroy the soda vat before he can drink it. That ought to hold him for a bit. Now, Buzz is going to tell you to hurry up and bounce over there. That's not what you should do. Uh, what you should do is come down over here. Uh, because if you uh, don't come down over here, you wouldn't normally see it. Number one, over here is some extra change and coinage. Um, you don't have to have it right away, uh, but it's nice to have uh, nonetheless. And the other thing, you look over here and make this jump. There's extra coin. The really secret. Boom. Nice little bounce. Got it. I should have done that a little earlier, but I just thought of it. And we're back on sugar-free landing. No worries. Just dodging, flying. So. Okay, so I've shown you back over here. Now, this guy, you can talk to him. Uh, he's not going to play with you the Sky Stones in this game. You can still sneak in a game of Sky Stone Smash, right? He's going to make you wait to play Sky Stone Sma Smash. That's fine. Uh, you'll get it in later levels, and then you'll be able to come back here. And uh, what you'll get is a Sky Stone Smash item for your, uh, for your collection. That's great. But that isn't part of the normal 100%, including Sky Stones. Uh, if you want to get it, that's your Right now, we're for what it says objectives. This is a villain stash. Okay, so here we've got our very first villain stash. To claim its rewards. Uh, it's villain stash. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch, and that's left trigger. Okay, now I'm this guy. Now I can right trigger and open this puppy. Up. And uh, you're going to have these um, almost every level, uh, some to a level. Uh, and you need to know, uh, you need to have a trap available with an enemy that you can use. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, just that you have one available. Uh, you're not able to jump over there, so move on to the next section. No one takes my soda! So here we are cruising right along. He's already had his little gas episode. And we're just trying to get it. So once you hop across all the quarks, you're gonna come over here to the Fizzle Wart's roof. Uh, you couldn't, you can't finish the section without going here anyway. It's not secret or anything, but there are areas around it that are. Go ahead and pop his hand off that area. Now, it's important that the order in which we do things, order of operations matter here to make sure that you're able to get everything because if you do them in the wrong order, game over. Uh, and you'll have to come back and do this all over again, which is a pain. Right, so, as you're getting ready to jump over there, come jump down here, okay? Knock things out if you want to first or not. It's up to you, but... Here we go with our second and final Skystone for this level for Jawbreaker. Uh, he did not come with the set. Uh, he was released in, um, if I remember correctly, in Wave 2. We've got the Legendary of that coming. Um, I'm not going to show you the preview on that. Unnecessary. There's nothing more to clear. Now here they're going to go ahead and tell you. Give them the green stuff, not the orange. Awesome idea! Even for me. See these two vats here? Somehow a man missing a leg is able to move a lot faster across this landscape. The other green stuff is bottom feeding suction eel flavored. It tastes even worse than it sounds. But if we can switch them up and trick the gulper into drinking the eel stuff, it might just bring him down to size. Yeah, great. Okay. So, let's go ahead and push, push the prize winning soda out of the way. Okay, that's been pushed. We're going to go ahead and give him his stuff. Well and now he's going to go in. The 
the gulper defeated. Okay, for the sake of brevity, I'm not going to put it in the water trap. Um, if you haven't done it before, you should. But I've already caught this character before, and so it's not a problem. Even if you don't have a certain trap at a certain time, it will be in your captured list. And you can use him once you have that trap. So I'm going to skip it. And I'm going to go ahead and finish out the level here. So you're going to claim your bounty. You get a sky stone for every enemy you stop. So first star we get second uh, star uh, 16 out of 17 found all right and the only reason why you couldn't do the other one of course was the elemental gate that you couldn't open the third soul gem and fourth hat are also behind that elemental gate so for right now this is 100 percent up to this point of this story again look down in the description uh, for the location of each one of these items um, there are also links to other videos that we have that show you just what you might be looking for. If you're just looking for the treasure chests or you're just looking for the hats or whatever, feel free to take a look. Uh, uh, in addition, if you uh, have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section uh, and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Uh, first time or your first walkthrough, if you haven't played Skylanders before. Um, again, this is uh, the very first uh, Skylanders walkthrough for level one. Uh, so to Springs, uh, I'm JR, and uh, I hope you liked it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you uh, if you enjoyed the content. And uh, feel free to check out our other uh, channels and other videos, uh, Skylander Fan Team unboxings and uh, tips and tricks. Until next time, uh, this is JR saying thanks. Boomsticks! Another successful mission! Stri Press the tag button to play as your caption.